Peace, what up? This is Panic from Ovive. I'm going to show you how to connect your turntables and your mixer and get started. First thing, um, this mixer that we're going to use is um, the Ring 56. Um, it's got two phono inputs and two line inputs right here. And um, right now we're only plugging in the two turntables, uh, but if we had CD players, uh, we would use the lines. Um, it also does have a, uh, an auxiliary input to put another source into it. Um, and it also has a, an auxiliary out, which works as a booth. So, um, but we're not going to actually get into that right now. And then you actually have a master, um, which you run to your speakers or your amps. So, first thing we'll do is take the turntable on the right, which is actually considered number two, that's channel two, and this is channel one. So as simple as plugging in the wires here, white into red into phono, program two, line two, phone two, phono. Um, take the other one, same thing into one, phono one. Also remember, the most important thing before you do any of this is that all the equipment is turned off before you start plugging anything in. Okay, so we have our turntables plugged in, and like I said, make sure everything is turned off before you start plugging anything in. So, uh, and also your levels are turned down on your channels, one, two, and the master. So after we do that, we're going to take our power strip. Plug in. Both of the turntables. And then we're going to take the power for the mixer. Plug that in and then plug into the mixer. This rain has a uh, different kind of power plug than some. They all they all vary. Different mixers have different kinds of plugs. Some are detachable, some some aren't attached and it's already on the mixer. Um, but this one comes out. Okay, so after you have everything plugged in, uh, make sure all your levels are down. The gains for each channel and the master is turned down. Nothing is turned on yet. Uh, take the wires for your speakers. Both of these are run into your speakers or your amp. Um, and we'll go a quarter in, right to the master here. So, all right, we have everything plugged in now, and we make sure, once again, that everything is turned off. Um, once you have your speakers and all that set up and ready to go, don't turn them on yet. Um, and then the, the next thing you want to do is turn the power strip on. Our little assistant will help us here. Well, thank you, Robin. And now, uh, just test everything. You get your lights on your turntables. That means they're both working. They're both on. So we can uh, now turn our mixer on. We got our little light here. On Somewhere on the mixer you have a light will come on. So next step is to go and turn the, the amps and the speakers on. Uh, once you have that turned on, then you can bring up your gains. And then finally, your master. And then you can go over to the amp or the speakers and adjust that. You're going to need to have a record playing just to get a signal coming through. And then um, have your levels up everywhere here. And then you can go over to the amp or the speakers and turn up the levels there. And you should have a sound. Should be good to go. Okay, next step, we're just going to set up our turntable so we can put a record on and play. Um, First thing, you just take your needle, um, which, of course, many different types and styles of needles. Um, you just have to research and, and do what, what's recommended for scratching. If you're a scratch DJ, what's recommended for just mixing, if you're just blending records, um, and get what's most appropriate. Um, so, simple, just pop that in there, and that screws and locks into place. Um, you want to adjust the weight and the tuning device accordingly. Um, that's all depending on what type of needle you buy. Um, normally, 
um, we keep it somewhere between two and three on the height, which is turnable by this piece right here. And it locks here. And then um, there's an anti-skate, which actually is how, how much one way you want the balance, you know, because the tone arm has to balance itself. So if, as you see, as I turn it, it swings one way. But basically, you want it to just sit as level as possible without swinging one way or another. So you just adjust it until it goes to where it needs to be. So it's not swinging and it's stable. So I'll put that on there. You want to take the needle off to, to, to set that. And then uh, traditionally, we just run this uh, weight all the way down to the bottom. Some people flip them off and put them on that way because it, it gives you a little bit more weight on the on the needle on the record but um, if you get a good needle you don't necessarily need to do that and if you put too much weight on the record it starts to wear your records out so um, we just kind of do a traditional just all the way to the end and then um, you can hear the how it sounds when you put the needle on the record so um, right now this is actually like a custom-made slip mat um, if you don't like going out and spending like 20 bucks on a pair of slip mats um, this is actually just a piece of felt from the fabric store um, that was cut into a circle um, pretty inexpensive way to, to, to come up with a, a solution um, so we're pretty much good to go get your record you're on your way <laughs>